What's up guys, I'm Cameron Ganow and you're watching Get Muddy Outdoors. So in today's video, I have a very special announcement. Uh, if you are interested in getting some Getting Muddy Outdoor merch, uh, you're just gonna have to DM me on Instagram well, or TikTok or um, or you could just comment in the YouTube video and we'll just DM me and try to, we'll try to get you one. But here's the front right here. Uh, we only have big sizes and I'm kind of little. So. We can make little sizes. So yeah, but here's the back. It's got a pretty nice hood, but it is about 95 degrees. So I am sweating bullets right now. So I'm gonna take this off and uh, I'm gonna run you through my um, kind of like archery routine slash like what I do like on the daily and uh, show you how I can get, how you can get better at archery and maybe give you guys some little tips. All right, so I kind of like to start things off with some shorter shots. My bow is not completely sighted in. Um, it's, it's really only good to about 20, but this weekend I'm gonna be going to a shop and I'm gonna be getting everything sighted in to probably about 35. Um, but really right now I'm just working, working on more form than a uh, shot. So if you wanna get in close, these gold marks are what I've been using. So we're gonna start off at, let's just do 10 yards. But um, every video, every video. So uh, a lot's changed since last time you saw my bow. I'm not too sure if I had this back bar on and I added an extended front bar. So we have a 20 inch front bar, a six inch back bar, one ounce up there, two ounces back here. Holds like, uh, holds pretty good. And then everything else is the same. Uh, I'm gonna have to wax my strings, but I did get like a new D loop, but you guys probably don't care about that. And I also did switch up arrows. Uh, I was shooting these warriors, but now I'm shooting these um, black eagle outlaws right here. They, they're they way more durable and I think they fly way straighter. So that's what we shoot. So yeah, I like to start everything off just, you know, four shots, five shots at 10 yards. So what you do is you grab your range finder. You don't want to be guessing and you just Look, right there, 11 yards. Ready? So one tip I'm gonna give to you guys is, if when you're shooting, you wanna have your back foot in front of your front foot. This will make you more balanced. And I know I'm barefoot, but like I said, it's about 500 degrees. We feel like we're in an oven right now. So back foot in front of front foot. That's tip number one on the video, so. Ready? I'm really not working. I'm not, I'm not really worried if it's hitting in the bullseye. This is honestly just to get it warmed up right now. I've been inside doing stuff. You were watching YouTube on the couch. Pretty much, but yeah. So really, uh, one thing that you want to make sure when you're shooting your hunting bow especially is you don't want to have too much poundage where you have to like, go back like right here, but you just want as much as you can do, this is what my rule is. If you could shoot 50 shots in a day and your shoulder is not sore, then that's the right poundage. But if you can shoot 10 shots, then it's not it for you. And I also, if you guys look at my Instagram, which I don't know if you do, I actually got another Robin Hood. That's my second one. And at the end of the video, we'll go up there and uh, we'll show you it in my messy room. Ooh. All right, that'll be good for uh, right now. Let's go pull them. All right, so now we're going back to 15. Uh, I actually, last night, I got permission to hunt a very special piece of property, my hockey head coach's land. I know, it's very, very exciting. Uh, and I just stepped on something sharp. Oh God, I love doing that, man. Cutting my feet is just the best feeling. How am I so good? It's 16 yards on them, but. Always move your sight, guys. Don't want to be that guy. I am kind of that guy, but. I'm thinking about getting a new rest, so if you guys have any recommendations or stuff like that, just um, let me know. 
And also, if you do shoot uh, archery, I wanna, I want you to comment what, what bow you shoot. And um, I wanna see if any of you guys shoot PSD bows. We gotta represent. If you're wondering why the deer is like that, it's because its leg broke, so I just cut the other one off, and now I just shoot it as a bedded deer, which is kind of funny. I mean, that other target over there, I never shoot it, so that's why it's funny. We're at 20 yards right now. Alright, so that's probably going to wrap it up for shooting today. A lot of times I won't shoot a ton of arrows because if you shoot a ton of arrows, then you're honestly just going to get tired. And I feel like if you shoot less arrows, you're putting more thought into every shot. And that overall will help you better. So like right here, this is not a good group at all. Like that is pretty bad. But that's, I mean... All right, so as you can see, I didn't shoot super good today. Um, I wish we cut, I wish we filmed yesterday because I shot very good. I was sitting in this area, but um, this is why you don't practice and start practicing two weeks before your hunt, because then if you do this a week before your hunt, you ain't ready to go on. And I tell you what, like you, you're not gonna shoot a heart out of an animal like that at 30 20 whatever it is because if you if you can't shoot groups in this circle at 20 yards then you're not ready to go hunt like last year oh, you got another spider right here right here I got it. so that's why i really encourage you guys to get out in june july early august because bow season comes around sooner than y'all think like it doesn't just come around like slow like every other season it feels like but Thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, we gotta show them the Robin Hood. Let's go do that real quick. All right, so right here is my Robin Hood. This is the first one right here. I did that in a bow shop full of four pros that qualified for Vegas. And then up here is the one that I just did right here. This Robin Hood right here is about 60 bucks because these arrows are not cheap. And uh, as you can see, I'm not super organized. I got lures, duck calls. Shotgun shell, I kill turkeys with trail cams, turkey calls, whatever that is. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not already, make sure you subscribe and drop a like on this video. That helps us out. And if you want, make sure you go check out some of that merch. I really encourage you. It is very soft and high quality. You won't regret it. So see you. Oh, 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 oh